My name is Amy Johnson, and I work with a number of different industries in trying to solve the complex problem of choosing a pressure transmitter to help them improve operational efficiency, maximize safety, and minimize maintenance. The application can be dangerous because of hazardous chemicals, or it can be challenging because it's either too hot or very, very cold. And unfortunately, pressure transmitter selection criteria specs have typically been based on performance. I'm here to tell you there's a better way, and it's as simple as A, B, C. A, consider the application. B is for best practices, and C is for selecting the right company. I typically recommend that a customer look first at their most challenging applications and then work with potential suppliers to look at best practices to turn those very potentially troublesome applications into one that are top performers. Then the company that allows them to do that is really best positioned to become their trusted advisor. When you get to that point, it's okay to circle back and think about performance because most pressure transmitters offer various performance tiers that really would meet any application. But remember, the best transmitter selection is the one that's gonna give you decades of return on your investment. So how do you go about selecting pressure transmitters? Share your experiences or ask me questions at Emerson Exchange 365.